What is going on everyone? It is Matthew Maz Fishing and I want to say welcome back to another video. It's currently 4.45 a.m. We are just getting all packed up. We're heading down to Lake Simcoe today going for some whitefish and fingers crossed for some lake trout. Let's go. As you can tell, we have made it onto the ice. I just got all set up, just got my rod in the water. I also just marked my first fish. So, let's get to fishing. There it is, guys. Finally. Was literally just getting set up, hooked into my first whitey. It's 12.50, it's been slow today. As I was setting everything up there, this one came in, crunched it. This is on the Ice Custom Rods. Super sick rod. Big shout out to him. Nice big whitey too. Woo! Look at that guys, first fish of the day. There it is guys, first whitey of the day. Stocked fish, you can see it's missing a fin. So guys, just wanna give you a little midday update. I just caught that fish, that's actually my first fish of the day. Not the greatest day so far. Um, things have been pretty slow. Where I was previously, my buddy uh, that I was kind of fishing near, he's caught six, I think, so far today. He's doing all right. Uh, I, I was struggling. I was hopping around, really just going to search for some new spots and trying to get a little bit of a better idea as to where the fish are and where they're moving. Uh, but it didn't pan out, and uh, sometimes that's the way it goes. So I just moved on to this spot. Uh, the second I got here, literally drilled the holes, just set up the hut, dropped down my transducer. I saw a fish on bottom instantly. Uh, so once I saw that fish on bottom, I uh, went, dropped my rod down. I dropped it right to bottom and just jigged there lightly and uh, he smacked it. I'm using a little Gobi style bait uh, and I actually just caught my first fish on a new rod that I got. There it is! Sweet, that thing whacked me three times. <laughs> I literally got hit three times by that fish. Quick fight, we're gonna pop him up over the hole.
Guys, that's another big whitey. Oh my god. Guys, this is a tank of a whitefish. This is the biggest one I've caught in a while. Look at that thing. Absolutely wicked. He crunched it. He came back three times. He came in, hit it, swung and missed. Came in, hit it again, missed again. Third time, absolutely choked that little goby bait. Sometimes they have trouble getting it in their mouths. I'm gonna let them kick right off. Let them sit in the hole for a sec. Right back down he goes, guys. Let's get some more. There it is guys, fish on, just like that, it's blowing my nose, already got him up here, it's like pulling in a wet sock. Munched it though. Is that a Laker? It's a walleye! It's a walleye! It's a walleye! It's a walleye! Oh my god! Guys! Guys! This is a freaking Simcoe walleye! Holy crap! Oh my god! Guys, the hook just pulled out. Guys, this is a beast! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my! Look at that! Holy crap, guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm shaking! Eleven pounds, ten ounce walleye. Holy crap, guys! I just caught a fish of a lifetime. Look at that freaking tank! That is an eleven pound walleye, almost twelve. That's insane. We're gonna get a release on this guy. They're not very freaking common in Simcoe. I am in disbelief. I'm absolutely shaking. Look at that freaking fish! Yes. I'm gonna get this fish back, guys. We're gonna make sure to revive it. Hold him in the water for a bit. Look at the girth of that fish. That's an eight inch hole, guys. It almost takes up the entire thing. That's a massive freaking fish. Guys, that was insane. I have never seen a walleye quite that big, let alone finding one in Simcoe. That's that's like a, a true freaking gem. I know they're getting caught more often, which is really sweet to see, but I honestly, I didn't think I would ever catch a Simcoe walleye. I, I got that thing, I hooked it. I honestly thought it was a white fish, but it wasn't head shaking either, which was weird. 
and it, it honestly reeled in pretty easy. I, I the fight was probably less than 40 seconds. I got it up to the surface, and I saw it, and I, I couldn't tell what it was. I was sitting there, and I was like, "Is that a burbot?" Because I, I haven't caught a burbot either, so I wasn't completely certain what they look like kind of in the hole. And uh, then I was looking at it, and I was like, "No, that's not a lake trout." And then I saw the eyes, and I was like, "Holy Jesus, this is a walleye." I got it up to the hole, and I, I didn't even know how to take this thing in. So usually for Lakers and Whiteys, uh, for Whiteys in particular, I'll just grab the jig and pull it, kind of like you do with Amigs, right? It, it usually doesn't bend out. You don't really have any issues. They're not that heavy. But there, like, I, I didn't know what to do, so I started pulling on the jig. I pulled the jig out of the hole, and it actually, I'll show you, it bent the hook right out, if you can see that. That's the bait I got on. I got on one of those Berkeley half heads bent the hook right out and then as I was like pulling on it it popped and the fish was sitting there with nothing on him in the hole I reached in grabbed his gill pulled him out and slid him onto the ice well guys as you can tell I'm now off the water it's currently the next morning I just finished editing up most of that video realized I didn't have an outro I'm in complete shock still. I would say that's probably the coolest fish I've ever caught. It's the most rare, that's for sure. Uh, and for sure the biggest walleye. Probably the biggest one I'll ever catch in my life for that matter. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. And stay tuned for more videos. Peace.